It means that it's your 24-7 assistant. Hey, Lydia, what's up? Who remembers all the things that you have said to it, of course. I just asked ChatGPT, I said that I'm feeling overwhelmed now. GPT was like, it's okay to slow down and you just do it step by step. It's like I leave a task for an intern and go to another task for another intern. So in between, I can manage my time. I saved 10 hours or 20 hours of my time just by using ChatGPT in this way. Otherwise, I would not have survived. <laughs> so today I'm going to share these five functions I use every day as a founder, a creator, and a recovering overthinker. These tricks has helped me tremendously and saved me at least 10 to 20 hours every week. I believe these will be life-changing for you too. Hey friends, it's Lydia here. A while ago, I released a video about how I use AI as my personal assistant. That video resonated more than I could have imagined because it has accumulated more than a thousand views, over 70 watch hours. That's one of my best performing videos. Since I recorded that video, actually ChatGPT has got a lot better. And today, I just want to take you through five hidden features that I didn't share last time. I'll take you through my daily flow and share these five secrets with you in just 15 minutes. And it's another sunny day and I have my ChatGPT open here. So here's are the five features I use it weekly. Number one is ongoing task memory. Last night when I opened ChatGPT and planned this video, actually ChatGPT just prompted. Nowadays, ChatGPT has cross-chat memory. Cross-chat memory, what does it mean? It means that it's your 24-7 assistant. Hey Lydia, what's up? Who remembers all the things that you have said to it. Of course, you can change your memory setting, like you can ask it to forget some of this stuff. It has better memory than yourself, I believe, because it's a machine. So last night when I was trying to record this video, it says, introducing new improved memory. ChatGPT can now remember more of your past chats and better personalize its response. Want to change what it knows about you? Just ask. And I enabled it. I enabled it right away. And I actually just experiment how I can use it. And so he asked, what can I help with? And then I type in my questions, my questions like here. I said that I want to do a video about ch using ChatGPT as personal assistant. How can you help me? It just released, it generates all of the tips I can use. Like genuinely amazed because it actually has improved memories, not just the things that I have told it recently, but also the things that I have mentioned in the past. Today, let's see, we can do a task right now. I have two windows open here. I actually have the desktop version and then I also have the web version. Reason being, sometimes I have to have two windows open, I would just like do it back and forth. It's like I leave a task for an intern and go to another task for another intern. So in between, I can manage my time. I can, of course, ChatGPT is not an intern. Usually it finish the task really, really quickly. So it's actually just kept me working nonstop for a long, long time. Let's see. Uh, we are going to start the screen recording, actually. Life coach. I have a chat about life coach, May 2025 with ChatGPT. It just has all the ongoing thoughts like brain dumps and everything with ChatGPT. Let's just start a new chat. So the new chat, I, I also realized nowadays ChatGPT has a new prompt every single time. This one says ready where you are. Okay, so let's ask everything. Can we pick up the memory about my carbon removal breakfast club series and see where we should go next and usually you just need to wait for a little bit absolutely Lydia here's a quick memory snapshot where we'll look at what might come next for the carbon removal breakfast club so the carbon removal breakfast club is a recent series I have and then it has what we already have in memory Luma link you're going to plan a new one that's you reach out to these people and these people have told you about their availability of space. You also found your sponsor. What we can do next, we can lock in the dates, formalize the format and the panel, we can promotion, 
uh, sponsorship materials, event series page. And at the end, it also says, do you like to help to draft an event promo post or sponsor one pager next? You always prompt something like that these days. In the past, before ChatGPT has the memory, I actually always ask whether you have memory of such things so that I understand what kind of context I need to provide. But now that it has such a good memory, I don't need to do that anymore. Let's, let's try another one. I'm going to follow up with my video editor about a recent video task about on my guest of Escape 925. Do you have any memory and do you need any context? So usually in the past I would do this, but now I don't think I need to do this. So this one it says that, oh, I remember you're working with a video editor likely this and that, no, that's not the video editor I'm working with. And then the recent guess is, uh, should be these people. So I don't think he remembers this because ChatGPT has a limited amount of memory space. So I didn't ask ChatGPT to remember specifically about all my video editing requests. And I think they just recently upgraded this uh, model and the release new function. Maybe some of the content is not captured. And these are just give you a sense of how you can actually use ChatGPT with the, the ongoing task memory. In the past, I always I put everything in some in the same chat. I have like a chat for in, even like posts on Vinted and then day in the life vlog, for example, like this. I just have everything here. The second feature, ChatGPT can generate a fully formatted Word document without you even asking. I didn't know about this function. So I was brainstorming my carbon removal breakfast club with ChatGPT and ChatGPT was like, do you need a one page document that you can send it to your co-host? Like within one minute, it just prompted all of these to my uh, co-host. So let me actually open the chat. I want to show a function of how you can create a full formatted document to be sent to someone. Can you help me? Imagine we are having a conversation of a vacation in Greece this summer. I want to share a, a trip itinerary for of my best friends. Can you help me? And let me know what context you need. And then it just shows this. Let's see. And it even knows that I'm, I'm doing this ChatGPT as your PA moment. So you turn in our casual conversation into polish. So using ChatGPT as a trip planner is not a new function. Like it, since the beginning of days, when people start using ChatGPT, this is what people use, right? And yeah, please just give me some five day itinerary to Paros. I really like there. Just a mock-up and some of my friends will fly from Hong Kong, some from France, some, some from Paris, some from Canada. And then it starts to search the web. Of course, I'm just, I'm just using the very, very basic personal plan on ChatGPT is the $20 one. I'm actually thinking whether I should upgrade it to the $200 one. <laughs> you can see that nowadays, ChatGPT not only give you the plan, but also give you like, it shows the image and it give you the resources. You no longer need to even click search the web. It already automatically prompts itself to search the web. Arrival day, August, and itinerary. And then it says, do you like this itinerary formatted into a PDF or Word document? Okay, let's see. A Word document would be great. Would be great. In the past, I, I believe many of the people, like myself, I have seen this. Like time and time again, ChatGPT would prompt, do you want it to be formatted as a Word document? And time and time again, it will fail. There will be uh, so many, many errors. But nowadays, it's just download Perils summer itinerary. Voila, fully formatted and ready to go. According to what you have just chat, you can definitely improve it until the point that you are happy with all the content and then it can create it with you. It's formatted, it has all the details. Because this is a new chat, right? I have a continued like 
long chat with ChatGPT, it actually creates more context and it actually adds on some of the details that I didn't mention in the very last conversation. So I think this is really, really like a game changer. And the other day I saw somebody in a conference using a PowerPoint or just to like enlarge an image. So like those days will be gone very, very soon. Like because eventually everyone will catch up with this AI. How to be more efficient with your day basically it has saved 10 hours or 20 hours of my time just by using ChatGPT in this way. Otherwise, I would not have survived. <laughs> so they can do the same thing for Excel. Can you showcase a imaginary situation that you can create an Excel sheet? Maybe um, something that I can use as a template in the future. And then you can just basically sip your coffee, relax, watch something else. Ah, how about a funder outreach and follow-up tracker? These are all just imaginary tracker, right? Funder tracker, May 2025. These are not the real names. It's just like made up names. And then you can conditional formatting and highlights. Uh, green for the intelligence, yellow for waiting for reply. Do you want to generate and download? Yes, please. just smooth. In the past, it would like create a very, very horrible formatted or even error Excel files. But now it's all done. Look at this. All done. <laughs> it's still not reached to the time where we can actually finally replace ChatGPT with everything yet. But I actually genuinely feel more optimistic now about AI than before. Because the next tip, so we just have three, right? One is your ongoing task memory, the second is created Word document, third is created Excel document. The fourth thing, the reason why I think nowadays ChatGPT is actually very, very good is because it's really a great thing for overthinkers like myself. <laughs> I don't know about you, sometimes I get overly when there's not a lot of sunlight around in London. Uh, you might be saying that, but look, Lydia, I always see you under the sun when you're recording a video. That's because when only when the weather is good. I'm going to record a video, otherwise I will have no energy. I'm really an overthinker, so sometimes I don't know what to do. I have thousands of thoughts in my mind. ChatGPT really, really is a great help. I think that one morning I was just feeling overwhelmed and anxious. And I have this live coach chat. I just asked ChatGPT, I said, I'm feeling overwhelmed now. What should I do? ChatGPT was like, it's okay to slow down and you just do it step by step. Sure, all of those, you can Google it, you can ask your friend, but ChatGPT is there 24 seven. The add-on benefit of you pay for a $20 a month, I'm sure many people will be able to afford a therapist. I'm not saying that, please don't take me as a, take this as a medical advice or whatsoever. If you have specific syndromes, please talk to your medical provider, talk to your doctors and whoever that knows better. But then I'm just saying, using this, you have an instant response. Because a lot of the times we actually just need to write down our thoughts, clarify what we have in mind and things will be fine. And that's what I use ChatGPT for. Let me just ask this, I'm recording the ChatGPT hidden feature today, but I feel like the first take is not super great. I don't have much time to do it again though, because I have a call in five minutes. What should I do? It's real. I have a call in five minutes. Let's see. Totally get it, Lydia. Here are three quick options based on your situation. I use this clarification of thoughts. Every day I will have a lot of thoughts every day, right? I also cannot hold all of those thoughts. So I just sometimes bring them to ChatGPT. I usually put all of them into one chat. Um, it says, I'll upload what you have as a rough cut and label as first take, quick demo. You can always redo the intro or overlay and a better voiceover later if it picks up traction or if you want to repurpose it. I think that's what I'm gonna do because I actually have a 30 minute window after my call and before I catch up with my friend. I'm gonna record the intro and outro later. Film a 30 second new intro only right after the call. See, see that's what ChatGPT suggests. And then three is add the caption and music to elevate your existing. Uh, when I'm not with my laptop, 
I like to be able to listen to people's voice, and so ChatGPT's voice fan function can even help me with that. So the same chat with ChatGPT. You can now actually, there's a button here, it's, there's a little um, speaker button, you can ask ChatGPT to read it out for you. Options based on your situation. One, upload what you have as a rough cut and label it as a first take quick demo. You can always redo the intro or overlay a better voiceover later if it picks up traction or you want to repurpose it. Two, film a 30 second new intro only right after your call. The final point, it saves me hours. I was like, oh, I need to do this research about grants. Finally, it's the deep research function. I believe everyone, a lot of the channel might have already deep dive into this function, but I just want to quickly show you. I have this to-do list on my list is to research about UK grants. This is a real chat from my workflow. I started it, I said, I want to research about all the relevant grants in the UK that I can apply for this year. The typo right now at May the 8th, 2025. Let me know if you need any context. The deep research function, how it works, is always ask you context so that it can help you to do better research. Uh, what stage is your startup, yada, yada, yada. And then I was like, don't you have memory? I asked this question, I think you know about my startup, right? And then I said, oh, mostly operational, capital, hiring, necessary equipment, yada, yada, yada. So I also give, give it some of the more context. Like, it's like, great, I'm going to research about it. Then I close the chat, enjoy my lunch. It didn't take even that long before I finished my lunch. It will prompt a notification to you, like the research is done. And oh my God, this morning, because I didn't look at it yesterday, I wasn't feeling it. This morning when I read it, I said, this is so helpful. Um, there are some, some grants, for example, this Innovate UK Growth Catalyst uh, grant I've been seeing everywhere, I was planning to apply for it. But actually, it says that the first pilot targets are large, later stage startups, and the second pilot in July will focus early stage pre-seed startups. So that's when I actually need to spend time. I, it saves me so much time. So after I look at this, as I find some of them, I've already passed the deadline. Some of them, maybe I should look deeper into it. And this is something that I would have spent at least one morning on maybe 20 Google uh, Chrome tabs and couldn't have put together like this. Or there's, there's a lot of like grants application expert that can say that it will help you or some other people. I was even thinking maybe I should hire a person on the Upwork or something just to help me do all of these. But that maybe will cost me, let's say $100. This is a fraction of the $20 payment plan you pay for ChatGPT. So don't miss this function, deep research. I think the more you use it, the better you know how to use it better. When the model gets more and more accurate, it serves you better as your personal assistant. That reached us to the end of this video. Leave a comment down below and tell me how do you use ChatGPT and share with us and so that we can all learn from you all together. And I'll see you next time.